I'm Atanasia Amala Septefani, a senior researcher at the Research Center for Environmental and Clean Technology, the National Research and Innovation Agency, BRIN Indonesia. So, in Indonesia, palm oil industry play a crucial role in the nation economics and social development. However, a large amount of solid residue from this plantation is generated and discarded with limited use, leading to a serious environmental issue. To address this challenge, our research aims to convert this vast biomass resource into value-added nanocellulose using biorefinery technology. These nanocellulose offer multifunctional properties, including exceptional strengths, is chemical modification, high optical transparency, and strong absorption capacity. This versatile characteristic allow nanocellulose to be utilized in various applications, enhancing productivity and reducing the carbon footprint of the agricultural industry. We have been collaborating with Dr. Amanda since 2020 to produce one ton of cellulose fibers derived from our palm waste by adapting the biorefinery system developed at Brain. This technology helps us to reduce biomass waste, promote resource efficiency, and create additional revenue streams. The cellulose fiber is also being marketed online on our company website, and further investigation is ongoing to develop potential products and application for end users. Together with my colleague at Brin, students and industrial partner, we investigate various applications of nanocellulose including water remediation, manufacturing additive, bioplastics, electronics, and thermal insulation. I have been involved in various nanocellulose projects led by Dr. Amanda for over a decade. She is an incredible, inspiring, and dedicated researcher passionate about her work. She has received numerous contributions in Indonesia and internationally. Personally, she is an excellent mentor, always believing in my research abilities despite my responsibility as a mother of the sons. Thank you for your encouragement. I have just been accepted to pursue my PhD at Osaka University. So through this Women Science Prize, I encourage all women scientists like Miss Julianti to pursue career in STEM, regardless of gender, social background, or family responsibility. Together, we can achieve international goals of becoming a net zero economy and zero waste society.